Okay, let's start off by adding in a bone. And this will be the master bone for the entire model. So let's go ahead and parent everything onto this. We'll add in another one, and this will drive the constraints that we put on both the locking mechanism and on the slide. So let's just bring that up and over here, and we'll also parent that to the master bone there. And I'll just turn these off to make it easier. Okay, so the concept that we're going for is that based on the movement or the location of the slide, at some point it needs to move the locking mechanism up into place. So the easiest way to do this is, let's just hide the slide, let's move the locking mechanism up into the position it should be at that stage. So I'd say around there. And we'll do the same for the slide so that it's in the appropriate location. Right about there. Cool. So let's go to the locking mechanism. And under the constraints tab, let's add a transformation constraint. We want the target to be the slide and we want everything to be in local space. Under the map to drop down, let's get the Z location of the locking mechanism and let's just paste that into the max Z source axes. Then with the slide, let's copy the X location, come back to the locking mechanism and in the map from uh, drop down, let's paste that X value into the max X value there. So what this is telling Blender is that once the slide reaches this X max value here, it should move the locking mechanism into the Z max value here. Now that's not currently gonna happen, but if we change the Z drop down box here to X, you'll see that actually moves the locking mechanism. To fix this, we'll just change this mixing type to replace. And so then as we move the slide, you'll notice that now it is actually driving the locking mechanism to move. So we have two problems here. One, we can actually move the slide way too much at the moment and the locking mechanism will actually clip with the slide along this movement. So let's start by fixing the movement capabilities of the slide. So let's add a limit location constraint. We'll say a minimum X value of zero. And while we're doing that, we'll change this to local space and a maximum X value of that same maximum that we put into the locking mechanism over here. We'll also change uh, the effect transform so that we can't exceed this X value here. And so now we can only move it between those two points. Now to fix this clipping, what we'll do is we'll copy this max X value here and paste it into the minimum. And we'll just make it very, very similar to the maximum value. So somewhere around there. And so now you'll see it becomes a lot more of a snappier action as it should be, and we don't get any clipping. So there we go, fantastic. Put these bones back here. So now what we'll do is we'll make it so that moving this bone up will simultaneously move the slide back and the locking mechanism into place all at the same time. So let's add a transformation constraint to the slide. We want it to target this bone here and let's just give this a more appropriate name. Let's call it slide. We want everything in local space. And we want to map from its current location here. So we'll copy this Z value into that minimum. And then we'll just move it up an arbitrary amount. It doesn't really matter. We can change this later. And we'll copy that and paste that into its maximum for the time being. And then we want to map that to the X source axes by using the Z of this bone. And we want to take that back to this maximum value here for the slide. And so we'll just paste that into there. And so now you see as we move this bone, both the slide and the locking mechanism move. And we'll just do one final thing. We'll add a limit location constraint um, to this bone here, just so that we don't move it too far. I'll just move this back. So let's go limit location. We'll have its minimum Z value be here in local space, effect transforms, and we'll have its maximum be at this defined location right here. Cool, so now we can move that up and it all works in one movement.